Hi, I'm Tom Hurd, also known as The Blowfish. I'm a marine biologist, conservationist, broadcaster and author. I've always been passionate about the seas, so I'm trying to do whatever I can to help make a difference. As well as those massive teeth there, you can probably see, can you see his, uh, his pharyngeal teeth? The teeth in the back of his throat? Right, what we need to do now is tag him. When I see news reports about whaling or uh, marine animals caught in discarded fishing gear or just those harrowing photos of albatross feeding their chicks plastic waste, it just kills me. It kills me because I know we can change. I know we can stop. I know that just by connecting people back to the seas, they'll realise how amazing they are. That is incredible. And they'll enjoy them and not kill them. Oh, it's the shark loving. Oh. That is absolutely unreal. If we give people ownership of them, if we give people knowledge, give them an insight into what is a completely alien world, people will fall in love with the way I'm in love with it. Oh my lord. <laughs> I'm a really passionate scuba diver. I've been scuba diving now since I was 13. I've waited 18 years to dive on Scapa Flow and it does not disappoint. I've also been pretty lucky to dive in some fairly mad places. Getting underwater is the only way to get a proper feel for these animals, for their environments, for the conditions that they live in. And if that means kitting up in some pretty extreme conditions, then so be it. Oh wow, this is really weird. Oh. It doesn't just have to be fish. I'm passionate about all life. All life right now needs a hand, be it slimy or scaly. And I don't mind getting my hands dirty. And you've got to do that. You have to be willing to take that extra step, put yourself on the line, put the animal's welfare first because you need to bridge that gap of misunderstanding. Try putting him on me. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see what it's like. Oh, wow. That's actually painful. That's a strong grip. Yeah, it's strong. That is yeah. a strong grip. You can feel the teeth dig. That's amazing. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah, it's properly biting me. It's, it's sucking my blood. Yeah, oh, look, bleeding. Yeah. Look. <laughs> How amazing is that? That's incredible. I don't think there's anyone out there quite like me. I have been called the world's only heavy metal marine biologist. I think it's fairly straightforward why that is. <laughs> I don't mind having a bit of fun when it comes to science. Uh, I've been done some fairly stupid things. Oh God, this is sinking! I'm actually sitting on the bottom. If I just get the sail in, bit of wind. Ah! But as long as the science behind it is solid, as long as there's a decent reason, then that's fine, you know, I'm not, I'm not so prim and proper. I don't mind getting stuck in. There it is, two sets of razor sharp Whoa. teeth. So this, this mouth here, this jaw here, both sort of mandibles of it, line up. It bites down on something, and then this jaw comes all the way forward, bites, pulls back. You're a guide, you know? You're a guide to the, the bloke in the office, the, the, the woman in the shop, you're a guide to people that live in this concrete jungle who can't get out to these places. It's, it is like descending into the underworld, isn't it? They can sit and they can watch nature documentaries on TV and they can see some amazing things, but without the right person standing between them and the vista behind them, it's just a brief flash in the pan. It's like a dream when they change the channel and it's forgotten. Look at that, each one of these suckers is ringed with teeth. I mean, that's sharp, dude. That's properly sharp, that's nasty. <sighs> You've got to make a connection with what's going on behind you out in Costa Rica or, you know, on the Great Barrier Reef and what's going on with them and the plastic bag that they're just about to throw away. And there's a whole new bit of reef right there. It's not bad for a morning's work. Wildlife filmmakers are in a very privileged position. We have the opportunity to change the world and now's the time. <laughs>